Now here the four first sections of this surah, they have been completed. I told you they are tabhidi. They are preliminary discussions. Now starts the section of ten continuous sections of this, this surah, which in which we have we find a direct address to Bani Israel, the former Muslim Ummah. Out of these ten sections or ten rukus, you can divide them into two. Now this analysis is very important because you can keep these things, you know, in your mind through this analysis. The first section comprising of seven ayat is very important because this is the section of Dawah. Bani Israel are being called to accept the message of the Prophet of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But from the second, or you we should say from the sixth section till the fifteenth or the fourteenth, that is actually a you should, so to say charge sheet, a continuous charge sheet against that ummah. You did this thing wrong. You did this thing wrong. You broke the covenant here. You broke the promises with Allah there, and you created new things. In, in, in your deen, you are having wishful thinking about the akhirah, all these things. You know, a continuous charge sheet against them, on the basis of which they were deposed from that position which was held by them for 2000 years, being the representatives of Allah on earth. And then you know the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was to be installed in the place of that former ummah. So now this section inshallah we shall read. And that is seven ayat which are very important. Ya Bani Israel, as Kuru near Matiya Latianam to Alekum, Wafu be Ahdi Ufe be Ahdikum by Yaya for Hamul. O sons of Israel, Bani Israel, sons of Israel, O children of Israel, Israel is actually the Lakab title of Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salatu was salam. In Hebrew language, Israel means Abdullah, bondsman of Allah. Israel, Eel is for Allah. Israel is for Abd. So Abdullah and Israel, they are the same. Abdullah in Arabic, Israel in Hebrew. Ya Bani Israel, as Puru Nirmati Yadlati Anam to Alaykum. O sons of children of Israel, remember my favor which I bestowed upon you and fulfill your obligations of my covenant so that I fulfill my obligations of your covenant with you. Ya Bani Israel, as Guru Nirmati Yadlati Anam to Alaykum. Wafu bi ahdi, ufi bi ahdikum, wa yaya farhabun, and fear nobody except me. Now, this is the call given to Bani Israel. What was the covenant that we shall read in ayah number 157 of Surah Al Araf? That they were, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, he prayed for mercy for, the, for his nation, for his people, Bani Israel, forever. Allah said, my real mercy will be reserved for those of you who will believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-Nabiyyul Ummi, Al-Rasul Al-Nabiyyul Ummi, who will come to them and about whose signs they will be mentioned in Torah with them. Whosoever will believe in him and help him, then actually the best mercy will be reserved for those people. Awfu bi ahdi, now you must fulfill the obligation that you made the covenant with me, so that I fulfill my part of the covenant. And believe in what I have sent down, that is Quran, which testifies and confirms that which is with you. It is confirmed. Quran confirmed that Torah was given to Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam. It is a divine book. It was given, it is divine guidance. So it is, it is confirming that which is with you. وَلَا تَكُونُ أَوَّلَا كَافِرٍ بِي And don't become the first kafirs and disbelievers. You know, you should be the first to believe. You should be the first to accept him. Not to deny him. Not to refuse to accept him. وَلَا تَشْتَرُوا بِآيَاتِ سَوَلًا قَلِيلًا And don't purchase and don't accept very tiny prices, very low price. For what I have given you from these ayat, thaman and qalila. Bayaya fattakun and have fear only of me. Wala talbisul haqqa bil batil. And don't mix falsehood with truth. Now, talbisul haqqa, libas, what is libas? It is actually covers our bodies, our, our dress. 
सो यू कवर दी रियलिटी बाय समथिंग विच इज फॉल्स दिस कुरान इज रियल दी प्रॉफिट ऑफ वुड ऑफ मोहम्मद सासम इज रियल एंड नाउ यू आर ट्राइंग टू कवर इट विद सम फॉल्स एलिगेशन वराकल में सुर हक कबिल बातिल डोंट कवर हक रियल रियलिटी विद बातिल विद फॉल्स वक तो बुल हक का एंड डोंट ट्राई टू कंसील रियलिटी वन तुम तालमू नोइंगली वेन यू नो यू हैव you have recognized muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam due to his qualities that were mentioned in torah you have you have come to know that he is the the prophet the last prophet and you are trying to 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 hide and conceal this truth wa antum ta'lamun don't do it knowingly wa aqimu salata wa atuz zakah and establish the prayers these have all been you know all the sharia that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to any of his messengers the integral part has been salah you must have some prayers although the forms have been different then rules and regulations have been different number of prayers have been different but it has been an integral part of all divine shariats that there was namaz there was salah for waqim us salah wa atus zakah and pay the charity that is compulsory charity but kaum mar raha hai and bo before allah along with those who are going now this is actually a very good you know pointing towards the muslims you see the muslims in this very city you are dwelling in medina in your own city now muhammad and his companions they are prostrating before allah subhanahu wa taala in a congregation go go and join this congregation they are making ruku they are making sajda they are prostrating they are going before allah subhanahu wa taala Why are you keeping away? For kau mar ra kai atamurun na samil bir. Do you enjoy and order people towards goodness, good virtue, but and so on and so forth? And you just forget yourself. All the sermon is for others, not for you. All the good th- good things and good deeds are for others, not for you. اتاب مرون الناس بالبر وتنسون انفسكم وانتم تقرؤون الكتاب and you, and you are reading the book book of allah this character of yours how it is absolutely opposite contradictory to the book of allah that you read and you believe in afala taqilun don't you understand wastainu bi sabr wa salah and seek help with patience and prayers wa indaha lakabiratun and this prayers It's definitely very hard, except on those illa al khashayin who have really submitted themselves to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah Zina yadunun an nahu mulaqo rabbihim. Those who believe that they will have to meet their Lord, one nahu ilahe rajyoon, and that they have to return to Him anyhow. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Azim wa nafani wa yatum bil ayat wa zikr hakim.